Hey everyone, I have a quick word to share today. And today's word is, you've planted a garden and it's harvest time. You've planted a garden and it's harvest time. And today's scripture reference is Amos 9, 13 through 15. And it, the passage is all about restoration. And it reads, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes, him who sows the seed. The mountains shall drip, sweet, shall drip sweet wine and the hills shall flow with it. I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel and they shall rebuild the ruined cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and drink their wine. They shall make gardens and eat their fruit. I will plant them on their land, and they shall never again be uprooted. Out of the land that I have given them, says the Lord your God. And so for many of you today, the Holy Spirit is saying that you've planted a garden, and it's harvest time. And I think this is um, has multiple meetings, meanings. I think... For some of you, you've actually planted a garden and you are seeing, um, you know, you've seen or are seeing the fruit of that garden, the vegetables in that garden, and you're harvesting your garden. And for others of you, this is spiritual. You know, you've sown many um, seeds into good fertile soil and the Lord is going to be um, giving you a harvest on that um, garden that you've sown. And for many of you, uh, the Lord is calling you to even actually buy agriculture land and to grow your own gardens to feed other people. You know, I know this is something the Lord has spoken to me here in the Dominican Republic is to, um, when the time is right and I have the means to do so, to buy fertile ground here in the Dominican Republic so that I can grow food to feed people here. And, you know, so those are all like literal um, interpretations of this word. But I also think it's a spiritual harvest time for many of you. Many of you have been sowing good seeds your entire lives. And it doesn't have to be money. It's serving others, you know, um, giving people your time, taking care of other people, being a good listener. Um, just showing the love of Christ to those around you, really. And many of you um, have been sowing those seeds, spiritual seeds, your whole life. And the Lord is saying it's harvest time and he's restoring his people. He's restoring his bride. And if this message is for you, please take it to the Lord for confirmation. It should confirm something the Lord's already spoken to you in your spirit. Always test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. But the Lord has a bountiful harvest coming your way. And I had another vision recently that the Lord is bringing to mind of a cornucopia, like overflowing with fruit and vegetables. And many of you have been, um, producing good fruit in your lives. And the Lord is going to reward you for that. He's going to restore your situation, um, whether it's, you know, physical and or spiritual. You know, you might be praying for, you know, unsaved family members, um, for significant others, for um, just, you know, even the leaders, uh, religious leaders uh, around you or different ministries, you know, you're probably praying for them. And your prayers hold weight in heaven and the Lord hears you. And your harvest is going to be great because you have sown uh, into the right uh, fertile soil. So I'm not sure who this message is for today, but you've definitely planted a beautiful, fragrant garden. Um, you know, many of you are beautiful flowers. I'm hearing in my spirit that you are just really, um, you have the fragrance of Christ. You know, you have a very sweet smell and, and you're, you have the heart of Christ. And you really uh, show your love, show Christ's love through you to those around you. And because of this, the Lord is going to give you a very bountiful harvest. So again, I'm not sure who this message is for today. Please take it to the Lord for confirmation. 
But I just want to welcome all my new subscribers to the family. Thank you so much for joining us. All of you who've sewn uh, into this ministry, you know, I, I appreciate you so much. I pray over every seed that the Lord will uh, increase it a thousandfold. I pray for you individually that the Lord will continue to lead, guide, and direct you into his perfect will for your life. And just know that um, I pray that the right people receive these messages. I pray that they edify the body of Christ. And the purpose of this channel is to glorify God and to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ on this earth. Jesus Christ, the son of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who came to this earth, died for our sins, pled, bled his blood out as a sacrifice for us, and was raised from the dead and on the third day. And the only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ. So I just want to be clear because I saw I've seen a lot of religious spirits acting up in the comments. And you know, just because you don't understand a ministry, be very careful about coming up against God's people. So again, I'm not sure that was a specific word for somebody. So just know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ and stay blessed.